shadow the new Praetorian. <laughs> The thoughts in today's piece are that of the Laughing Ogre and are not meant to reflect the thoughts or ideas of any sane human being. And now, folks, even though he voted for him, the Ogre's got his eye on POTUS Trump. And maybe on Melania also. Now a word from the Laughing Ogre! I am Jack's inflated sense of community and love of one's country. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see me again today at YouTube. Thanks a lot, Real Me. Oh, I know I got to cut this down a wee bit, even though your boy of summer has arrived. Now, some of the stuff that I'm going to look at today, it, it has some little bit of music over it. So I'm going to have to be careful not to, I don't know, probably to be honest, I'm just going to do my ogreish thing and I'm going to throw my own stuff <laughs> right over top of it and hope that it's not a big deal. I'm looking over here because I actually, before I do much else, I really need to say a little word about Amanda Wolfchild. Thank you so much, Mrs. Wolfchild, for coming to my channel and making a couple cool comments. Thank you so much for being you and having a kick-ass avatar with some really expressive brows and for just saying it the way it is. Thanks to your old man for making it easier for you to say said such. <laughs> if that wasn't too convoluted, hey look, it's a pretty big topic today. So I'm going to jump right into it right now. Let's take a look here. Oh my goodness. What? Make America great again. I seen a meme and it said, make the first lady great again. In my goodness, in my lifetime, I wasn't around to see Jackie O. I was too young. I wasn't even born. And uh, <clears throat> Mrs. Trump, First Lady Trump, this is to you. God bless you, ma'am. Ah, and as always, when I toast a great person, there's nothing left in the can. We can just toss that right away. Don't worry, though, folks. They'll keep making PBR. So let's jump into this. This is a couple of highlight reels that someone has already done the hard work for me. I'm going to put the links in the description. So I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit of something here. Maybe we can laugh about it. And then I want to, hey, listen, I love Donald Trump. I voted for the man. I will vote for him next time, barring any serious fuckery on his part. But that says one thing about, to me, this is what that says. I got my eye on you, Trump. I'm not going to just sit here and watch you talk about trampling on states' rights to allow their citizens to smoke a harmless drug, marijuana. Or, to, for that matter, to let their citizens shoot heroin. Or, or, or whatever they want to do. I've heard of a psychologist helping a, a trans, what they call it, a trans, oh, trans disabled, I can't even remember the term, folks, because it should be in the DSM, but she felt like she should be blind, and so the psychologist helped her pour Drano in her eyes, making her blind, because who are we to say that if someone feels like they were born disabled, that they shouldn't be able to hack a limb off, oh my gracious, I'm getting a little bit off in the weeds, but the world is coming to a point to where I see that we need the Donald Trumps to step forward. We need our first lady to look like this and to be unapologetic about it. We have a beautiful, beautiful first lady. I'll say it again. Mrs. Trump, God bless you. God bless you, President Trump, for picking such a wonderful woman. I know it was the third, but hey, you know what they say. Third time's a charm. So you've heard enough from me. Check this out. I am here tonight to deliver a message of unity and strength, and it is a message deeply delivered from my heart. Then in 2016, the earth shifted beneath our feet. The rebellion started as a quiet protest 
we have begun to drain the swamp of government corruption by imposing a five-year ban on lobbying coal mines. You could hear him start to speak up, and this is not the best one, so instead of being redundant, I'm going to start here. Believe it or not, the best little quick compilation that I found that I will be able to dissect a wee bit is from the Wall Street Journal. And one thing I'm not going to do, folks, you're not going to find your ever-loving blue-eyed ogre sniffing anybody's throne. I appreciate a lot of people. I appreciate the hard bastard. He comes on a live stream that him and I have thought of and we've engineered and we get a couple of beautiful girls that are also really intelligent to come on with us and we're going to rotate somebody in and he helps me out. But I ain't going to kiss his ass. The Britisher just did something so awesome that my puny little channel went from 120 subscribers yesterday to the last time I looked is 157. How's that for growth? But guess what? If I kissed his ass, he'd never help me again. Because real men understand, and real women, manhood, mankind understands that to give a hand up is, is good. It's a good thing. To give a hand out is a terrible thing. To give appreciation, to show one's appreciation is a good thing. To sniff the throne of another, that is a terrible thing. And a real strong human being, be it man or woman, doesn't want their butts kissed, folks. Uh, I would much rather prefer differing comments in my comment section. If you're here because you agree with me, I appreciate you too from the bottom of my heart. But if you're here because you disagree with me, I do appreciate that diversity of ideas even more. I am here tonight to deliver a message of unity and strength. And it is a message deeply delivered from my heart. We want all Americans to succeed. But that can't happen in an environment of lawless chaos. We must restore integrity and the rule of law at our borders. Okay, I appreciate that. But let's see where he goes with this rule of law thing, because there's some stuff that he's really bumming me out about. It is not compassion, but reckless to allow uncontrolled entry from places where proper vetting cannot occur. But to accomplish our goals at home and abroad, we must restart the engine of the American economy, making it easier for companies to do business in the United States, and much, much harder for companies to leave our country. <laughs> Protecting our workers also means reforming our system of legal immigration. If we are guided by the well-being of American citizens, then I believe Republicans and Democrats can work together to achieve an outcome that has eluded our country for decades. Yes. Yes. The time has come for a new program of national rebuilding. Yeah. This effort will be guided by two core principles, buy American and hire American. Tonight, I am also calling on this Congress to repeal and replace Obamacare. Yes. Obamacare is collapsing, and we must act decisively to protect all Americans. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am blessed to be joined tonight by Corinne Owens, the widow of U.S. Navy Special Operator, Senior Chief William Ryan Owens. Ryan's legacy is etched into eternity. Thank you. Sometimes, folks, I have to be honest, <sighs> President Trump had the opportunity to serve in the armed forces, and apparently his foot hurt him too much, or his knee. He went to the, oh, the, <clears throat> the New York Academy, Military Academy, New York Military Academy, very prestigious private school for usually senators, childs, and it's very prestigious, all boys. And he was prepared. He could have done it. But I think that's why he overcompensates in this. That said, I don't believe it's a bad thing. We need to take care of our warriors. Listen to Stephen Gurn. Check him out. He's on my channel. Listen to him. Listen to what he says. You don't want to believe me about the, the things that are a threat right now? Listen to your warriors, friends. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's beautiful, so beautiful. But we know that America is better off 
when there is less conflict, not more. We must learn from the mistakes of the past. America is willing to find new friends and to forge new partnerships where shared With Britain. align. No more back of the queue, Britain. Jump on the Trump. 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 Train. Small thinking is over. The time for trivial fights is behind us. It's behind us. We just need the courage to share Come on. the dreams that fill our hearts. Preach. The bravery to express the hopes that Preach. Fill our souls, and the confidence to turn Hallelujah. Those hopes and those dreams into action. Amen. Well, that was the end of that. I, I'm just going to, you know, I thought for sure he was going to get into a few other things. So right now, I'm just going to take the opportunity to, I don't know, plug my own channel like the sameless self-promotion hooker that I am. <laughs> but what I want to do is tell you this. Trump made some comments about, oh, I'm going to do this and that and the other thing about Oxycontin and drug problems. And listen, folks, since Harry and Slinger, since the insane reefer madness hysteria, Okay, let me break it down this way. War on drugs? How about a war on your loved ones, your friends, and your family? It, it, he talks about getting help. No, he's talking about state-mandated help. That means you choose between going to jail or going into the program that we tell you you can go to. You can't leave the state, you know, because they put you on probation. Oh, I know people that have been in it. I may or may not have had a DUI in my life. I'm not going to share that right now, but you can probably guess the answer to that. They humiliate you and they strip you down. Then they write you up as, as a statistic, as someone that decided to go get help because they needed help with alcohol. And if you do need help with alcohol, get it. I, I, I will be the one to decide if I need help with alcohol. If I haven't crashed with my car, if I've passed your roadside sobriety tests and hit Papa Do and whatever... Fuck you. Fuck you. There should be, to quote the king of Esty, there should be a, a test that you do where you drink a certain amount, you blow the blood, blood, you know, you do the breathalyzer. It says your point, you know, one six or whatever, but then you do the blood touch and you're going to walk the line. And then you should get a little card that says, I am allowed to drive my car at point one eight because the king got pulled over. And he actually blew a .26, which where I'm at, they call it super drunk and really nail you. And he was he passed the roadside sobriety test. If you pass the roadside sobriety test, they are breaking the law by forcing you to take a breathalyzer. What they do here, and I think everywhere in the United States, is they say, take the breathalyzer or we take your license for a year. Then they will still take you to, to, to jail and forcibly draw your blood. Is this the world that we live in now? <laughs> is this this is the nanny state? Remember, the nanny state is insidious. Don't listen to Trump's BS. I'm gonna stop the drug problem or no. There, it, it, you can see if you look at Portugal, if you look at other countries that have completely legalized drugs, the incident of things like heroin nose dives. Yes, marijuana use sometimes goes a wee bit up, but we're talking about the difference between seeing a junkie on the street corner. And shooting up and the kids see that like holy shit. I don't want to be that and you see somebody smoking a joint and then playing some boom boom One don't worry About a thing Cuz every little thing it's gonna be all right now You know, I mean so what's the harm is what I'm saying and if you make it like that is a terrible harmful thing then you're, you're crying wolf. What about when the terrible, harmful thing is really in front of this child? Is the terrible, harmful thing a cold beer? In England, a 16-year-old child can walk into any... Well, I said child, but at that time, there's a 16-year-old adult there and can order a pint. And they can drink pints until the, the, the landlord throws them the hell out on their ear. And if they want to act a fool, you know, they can act a fool, but they, they might have to pay the consequences for it. But here we got this ridiculous 21, and then, you know, you're 18, you can go die for your country. Men and female, women both sign up, go serve your country, but you can't have a cold beer. Why don't we teach people to use things responsibly? If we did, ladies and gentlemen, it would work out a lot better. 
And I'm just begging you. This is going to be a little long. I can already feel it. I, I must be going for a little bit here. But as much as I like Trump, remember, don't, don't bulldog me. I voted for the son of a bitch. As much as I like him, I don't want him trampling the rights of my fellow human beings. If it is your pleasure to snort cocaine or shoot heroin or smoke a marijuana joint, matter of fact, that's my pleasure. So I got this new microphone right here, this Blue Yeti. Seems like the, the gain adjustment on the back is a little crackly, so I may have to set it, send it back. In the state I'm in, it's legal to smoke this because I have a medical card, and I've been beaten and left for dead. I've wrecked my gold wing and was near dead that time, and excuse me, three times. I was nearly dead, and my left side of my body has been busted up pretty daggone bad. Ribs, and I mean, I have issues, but that's my issue. And what I don't want to do is become addicted to some kind of painkiller or I don't want to be a slave to something that, that it, it, even if the pain's not that bad that day, I have to take it anyway. So I've made my own conscious decision that I will use something. Then in all honesty, I wouldn't say it takes the pain away. I might have to hit the mute button here. Thank goodness I got one. But it does a couple things. It's twofold what this does for me. One thing, it really expands the mind. There's studies you can go find them on your, your own that it increases synapsal uh, flow. Your, your synapses fire better. The chemical reactions start to take place in a much better rate. You, you can recall things better. It can affect your short-term memory if you're not used to it. The other thing it does for me is it makes me forget about the pain. It's there. But I forget about it. And I go on and I get involved in this video or I get involved in my chicken farm. Or today I had to clean out some coops that are right behind me. And yes, somebody asked if that was chickens crowing. cock a doodle do. I am a chicken farmer. I love my roosters. I am a man that can say that I have eight cocks. And that one of those big black cocks is 12 pounds. <laughs> Beat that, my friends. So anyway, listen. Like I said, it's getting long. But the minute, I, I, I want to say it best this way. When the government fears the people, you have freedom. When the people fear the government, you have tyranny. Which would you choose, constant viewers? Those of you that are new and, oh my goodness, now I almost want to pull this up and look down because I'm not really that great with names. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't written some of the names down that I should have. But right now, I'm going to take a little bit of me time. And for those of you that have already fallen off, hey, that's fine. But I've probably got a few uh, constant viewers out there that would appreciate it if I took just a moment to say their names. So I would like to say, T-Pawn, thank you so much. Whatever happened to the Telecaster? There it is, T-Pawn, just for you. You got a really good eye. That's a 1948 body on a brand new neck. The neck was broken. The person that I bought it from didn't know what they had. And I told them what I thought they had. They thought I was a joke. And I paid for it. I don't even want to say what I paid for it. But if you care to, look up the value of a 1948 Telecaster and know that your ever-loving ogre just got simply lucky. So what I'd like to say is the guitar right there that you can see for t Pawn or for anyone else, that guitar right there. I don't expect you to know the manufacturer of it, but if you know what style guitar that is and can at least name two artists that made it famous, I will play the song of your choice, even if I have to turn it into the song of my choice with those lyrics. I promise. I promise I will. So that said, Richard Nicholas, hey, greetings from the great UK, greetings from the, 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 the errant colonies, my good brother. Uh, we sure do appreciate it. Again, Amanda Wolf Child, I sure do love you, girl. I got quite a lot from Teapot. Golden Thoughts, Golden Thoughts, thank you so much. Iconic Lord, hey man, Iconic Lord, I super appreciate you around my channel. Mike Motis, Nick TM, I, I, what you said I'm not going to repeat because it was so cool, man. You made my day. Nick, please come back anytime. Join me here at my house. We'll have a doobie. We'll have a cold beer. We'll have a discussion. We'll keep our eye on these cocksucking politicians together, man, and we'll figure this mess out together, as long as you're there to help me, Nick. 
and I could go on. I have to mention at least one more, and I'm going to do a proper shout-out here very soon. Believe me, I will run through 150 names because every last one of you are important to me. Captain Cole Pyle. <laughs> yeah, baby. You demand Captain Cole Pyle. Captain Cole Pyle. Check him out. Wherever you see him making a comment, he's going to make your day better. Of course, I must mention the inimitable Sydney Rough Diamond. Thanks for coming by. And now, even though I'd like to stay because I feel like you're here with me and that I have a dear friend here in my very home with me, but uh, it's time to go, friends. And I got to say, be good to your friends. Be good to your family. Be good to your loved ones. Be quick to say you're sorry. Be even quicker to accept an apology, especially when that thing your friend, your family member, your loved one has done seems to be so big you'll never be able to forget about it. Because constant viewers and my new viewers, those coming into the fold of your ever-loving blue-eyed ogre, in a time you think not, your friends, your family members, your loved ones, your life and your cause will depart from you. <laughs> hey, Sydney, I got my eye out for you, bud, bro. I got my eye out for you. I'm going to keep my eye out for all of y'all. And since you're here, you might as well go on ahead and hit the subscribe button. It ain't nothing but a thing. Just take a second. Like or dislike, that's totally up to you. But, hey, tell your friends about me. Tell your enemies about me. Maybe if you don't like me and you tell your enemies, they won't like me too. What a win-win that would be. Well, I should have quit you, baby. Should have quit you a long, long time ago. I should have quit you, mama. Well, such a long, long time ago. I never would have found myself here in this predicament. Bye.